What's up, guys? It's Kyle, also known as the Panda Man. We're one of my best buddies here, BK. Came in a couple nights ago, a couple days ago. We've been having a good time, so doing another episode of Unlocking Your Inner Strength today. What's going on? Man, thanks, for ha- thanks for yeah. having me. I think I was number one on Unlocking Your Inner Strength now. <laughs> Could be. How many is this now? This is 429. 429, man. Damn, son. Good job. Haven't missed a week. Way to stay consistent. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, that's it. I wrote I wrote my daily email today and it said, uh, "Dare first name. You don't have to be. You don't have to be special to be successful. You just have to be consistent. Yeah. Best BK. Yeah. You know what I mean. Four hundred twenty nine. That's consistency, brother. Good that's job. All you gotta do. Yeah. Stay at it. You don't stop. If you take quitting off the table. Man, it's been nonstop since I've been out here. Yeah. You know, jumped on a plane 4 a.m. Arrived here by noon, worked out with Sugar Sane and the boys at one. And we shot that video, a 90 second video, and it took us eight hours to do, man. That was wild. Yeah. Yeah, what'd you think of that? Let's talk about that. It was wild, man. I mean, we were just talking about the, you know, the scene that we're just like, you know, high fiving each other took about an hour and a half. Yeah. You know, just one little scene, it's probably three seconds, you know, so. You got some uh, pros with you, you know, a lot of light distribution and a lot of uh, cuts and, yeah. you know, perfection. It was cool. It was cool to see, man. I, do- I called my daughter yesterday on the way to the gym and told her about it. Um, I wanted her to be part of it, you know. I said, man, that's crazy on the set, you know, like, <laughs> it's crazy. It was cool. So, yeah, we shot uh, the scene, classic scene from The Predator on Wednesday into Thursday. You know, we started at 9 o'clock, finished about 4.30. But that classic scene with Carl Weathers and, and Arnold and the general who the Wolverine played, which we're really excited about, both guys from the 80s. To know we got ideas for different commercials. So we're shooting that, right? We got the the juice, and we got energy, aka Panda Punch, coming out. So the, it's a commercial for that, but we're really excited just about the artwork, I think, that went into that, right? The, you know, for the actual commercial, too. I think that by itself is just going to be a fun you know fun thing behind this be uh very creative i think from start to finish of the the new panda punch it's um the people that we have on our team very creative yeah very uh particular on how they want to showcase it and uh the best of the best you know it's cool to be able to work with these guys it almost makes you want to work harder to be able to get into people's hands yeah you know just to show them uh to um you know back their work up yeah yeah certainly yeah yeah they feel good about themselves yeah they they, they like it you know they're gonna like it and they see that you know they killed it on the label you know even if you just hold this you know he's got a 3d feel got the dragon and the panda so we're excited about this, guys. Something we've been talking about for a long time. Yeah, a long time. You know, we started talking about, when did we start talking about the juice? Uh, March of 2020. March 2020. March of 2020, you know, uh, started from the cabinets, uh, went to some sort of pill formation. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just kind of did a lot of R&D and uh, listened to what the consumers wanted and, you know, tried to, just meet them halfway, bridge the gap between having, you know, fasting, taking natural salts and minerals, and then, you know, making their experience just a little bit better through flavoring. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's a very basic concept, but it's, you got to stay focused on it. Yeah. Simple and basic isn't, doesn't mean easy. No. You know, it's, it's still resourcing out the best of the best. It's still making sure everybody's on the same page and following through you know this it's from start to finish man yeah tell tell people a little bit about behind the scenes with that as far as you want to hear some war stories i got a story for yeah. you now just joking man I tell them yeah you know, you know <laughs> first you know tell them some of the obstacles you've run into some of the hustle that you have to go through to kind of keep progressing it you know where that business is at right now yeah i think just with uh any new business any new endeavor whatever you're desiring once you have clarity and uh, you start going down that path, you're going to run into any obstacles. There's, there's um, learning curves for a reason, right? And uh, you just have to have that mindset knowing that there's going to be issues. There's going to be bumps in the roads and, uh, you know, you just have to get through it just like anything else, whether it's weight loss or uh, building muscle or relationships, you know, there's going to be hiccups and, uh, 
So there was a lot of hiccups. You know, we started in, you know, think about it. The idea was in March of 2020, we started formulating some things as of uh, 21, we started producing it. We went from three manufacturers before we found the, the, the Don of them all, right? Before they found us, before they took a risk and a chance with a small company like us. And, uh, you know, what's cool is they did us a favor. And now by the end of the fiscal year, we have done 9,000 units. Wow. So now we're like partners, you know, that's what's cool about yeah, it yeah. is you just start going down this path and you almost like want, need to prove to people that you are capable of doing it. Therefore, then they'll give you more resources and they, you become a resource for them. How about that? Yeah. You know? Yeah, it flips. Yeah, it's cool. It's a, it's a circle, man. So while running the gym, running a family, just like, you know, everybody out there, you're just going down this new path. I know nutrition, the supplementation world of distribution and manufacturing is new, you know, but I knew what I wanted in there. You know, I'm feeding it to myself, but my family as well. All my tribe, my members, like I, did, I, I wasn't just going to source out just traditional, like your average minerals. You know, these are earth derived. These are coming from um, the earth, you know, and you're going to pay an yeah, extra, yeah. extra buck for them. But um, that's what it's about, man. Yeah. You know. Yeah, no, it's, it's been really cool to watch, man. I was thinking when you were saying that the first time we teamed up, do you remember to do something? Oh, yeah. The seminar. Macros. Yeah, what a seminar. Yeah. The seminar? Oh, yeah. yeah. The se oh, yeah. That was great, man. That was... 2014? Um, that was amazing, man. 2014, man. We had like 120 people. You know, we gave a talk at the gym. And then uh, Dana, who's still with us in Hillsboro, and who was it? Gianna. Gianna. That's what I thought. Gianna. It was good. We had like 120 people. It was fat. We were aiming it at fat loss, but BK was launching a nutrition coaching program at that time so we had it catered you know we were trying to get uh we had my buddy there that was doing food delivery type of stuff and Man, it uh, was huge 120 was freaking people yeah yeah i mean it was it was dope we talked about mindset you yeah. know we were young oh, yeah. bucks at the time you know i mean but yeah. but man we hit it hard it was fun it was it was the jump yeah we knew that like, that was where it was going to be and uh you know a lot of smiles a lot of really good feedback yeah you know? No, it was great. Yeah. It was cool, man. Yeah, we've been working together for a while, man. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, I guess you know, tied in through Vince, who's been a good mentor for both of us. You know, Vince Gabriel. It's funny how you connect through people. You know, you never know what relationship. Sometimes you meet somebody and it's not that person, but somebody that they set you up with. Oh, yeah. You know, that's, I think about my one buddy, you know, Sweet Lou. You know, I was on a text with him and another guy, the guy that originally set us up, who was a friend of ours, but I hardly ever talked to that other guy, you know, and it was just, hey, I think you guys. Yeah, he's a good dude, man. Oh, yeah, Louis, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, I mean, people come into your life when you need them most or vice versa, mm -hmm. you know. It's the it's the uh, the circle you keep. Yeah. yeah you know, sure, it, it really truly is, man. You can go down a couple different paths, man. It's either your motivation inspiration or it could be your kryptonite yeah you know the people around you so definitely yeah let's talk about uh before we get into conspiracy stuff for bigfoot oh boy <laughs> with, with the stuff that compared to a regular pre-workout right or even i remember right like when you did the first um which is dragon juice but it won't the orange yeah you know and one of the things that we had, and then you went over and you, and you went back and found a different source, like the sucralose. You have all that stuff out of here. Like, this is all top-level ingredients. And just kind of talk about the ingredients in here, how important it was, you know, for, for us to have what we wanted in here. You know, like, the, just the mindset of that and why that's important. Yeah, well, you know, definitely some of the... Uh the hurdles of, you know, sourcing out at first, you would, uh, you wouldn't get what you asked for, you know, and, um, you know, time restraints and, um, you know, there's just a lot of things that you got to deal with a lot of just little intricacies and in paying attention to these, the, the little stuff, right. The, the details. So now we have a team, we've developed a team, the, the guys out in South Florida, Ike and Rojas, uh, also known as house of greatness. They've been in the game for a long time the supplement game. Yeah. 
So, um, you know, utilizing the energy and the friendship that we've had with them for the years, you know, um, they were able to set us up with a really good manufacturer and one that trusts us to, you know, they believed in us to be building a brand, not just this fly by night type company that wants to just turn a dollar. Right. I mean, ultimately, we're a business. It's, it's a financial institution. There's got to be some sort of uh, monetary exchange. But this wasn't like just a money score for us. So once we got involved with that, we really started figuring out, well, what do you truly want in this? You know, um, knowing the supplement game or knowing at least minerals and what different compounds do, we were able to then formulate something that was like for us. And I remember doing that when I before I even had the gym. Actually, when I got the keys to the gym, I didn't have any equipment. And um, I would think in my head, I'd like, okay, if I owned a gym, what would I want? What would I want, right? It, because ultimately, I'm going to be leading this pack, this tribe, right? So I got to be invested in what I'm visualizing, right? So and I just did that. I was like, this is what I'd want. I want this squat rack here. This is why here. I'm going to be able to flow in and out, right? So we did the same concept with this, uh, these formulators. Uh, the best of the best. Um, formulated these compounds and actually said if this if I was to create a pre-workout a high stem like the Panaman requested this is what I would want in mm, mind yeah and then we reviewed it you and I you wanted a couple different things in there we pulled we played we tested and uh yeah all natural sweeteners so you got your monk fruit in there it's, it's mostly monk fruit it's got the stevia in there as well it's got all your core four minerals. Uh, uh, and when I say this, these are earth derived minerals. Yeah. These are coming from the sediment. These are coming from mines. Okay. You can resource from everywhere. So you got your sodium, your potassium, magnesium, your calcium. So you have your hydration formula in there, but then now you have your added compounds. And if you turn the back of it, I'm not going to read them all off you, to you, but there's something in there. It's like a velvet bean. There's ashwanda. There's beetroot. There's these things that support caffeine so if you look at this you're like holy shit that's 400 megs of caffeine in this thing yeah. right man like the the difference is is you have these compounds that support this caffeine so when you come down it's not like you're just crashing down and the ride you feel it's like straight to the front of the line yeah yeah it's like you you get warmed up quick because it's got that gba in it it's got that thermogenic in it that makes you sweat a lot faster, straight to the yeah. front of the line. So when I start sweating, when I'm starting to flow, my joints feel good, my muscles feel good, tendons, my mind starts feeling good, and then I could perform at higher levels. What's cool about this, the combination of those products that are the compounds that I said is, once you get to this peak of like, holy shit, like I'm feeling good, the other compounds come in and just kind of pull you back down, which now affects the cognitive aspect mm -hmm. of things. It almost becomes like, you know, you've heard of nootropics. Oh, it's yeah. nutrients for the brain at that point. So it's just like a good ride for me. And I'm not a high stem guy. So I take about a third of this every single time. And then maybe before my main lifts, I'll take about another third. I, I kind of like... Um, divvy it out a little bit sure. you know whereas you you just take two full scoops shake it so up pound it down get calm and collective <laughs> and start leading the way you know <laughs> but yeah i don't know if that answered the question does, I, yeah. you know I, I start telling stories and shit yeah, it's man. great man yeah it's something that i think we're both proud of very proud they're very you inspired know. it's yeah. inspiring yeah it's you like know. you know it, the way i see it too it's like a high focus not necessarily that I need it before a workout, but like, hey, the work day, you know, I envision people that, man, I got to sit down and try to bang out three hours of work, four hours of work, you know, and the coffee's not doing it anymore. Like, I don't feel coffee at all. For like, real. It's just, it's comfort food. Yeah, absolutely. It's, yeah, that's exactly, you like the taste. Yeah. You know, yeah, you, yeah, you like it. taking the, you like being able to think and sip, yeah. right? Same concept with this. Do you have to slam it? No, I would just sip on sip it on throughout it. the day. day. It's got... It is expensive. I'm going to tell you that. It, it is going to be expensive, but there are expensive compounds that in it. it's in there. What we and say is it's reassuringly expensive. It's reassuringly, reassuring. Expensive. Expensive. So you know you're getting the best. Yeah. You yeah, it's, you it, it, if, you're, if you're looking at it like price comparison, you know, if you're trying to do that, then just do the prime route, get whatever you want. But in 
just calling a spade a spade, caffeine is pretty cheap. Caffeine is not really what we're looking at here. Yeah. We're looking at the other compounds that really make the difference that not a lot of people are doing right now. Nobody's doing this. No. There's no other formulation out there right now with this. Um, are people going to copy us? Like, absolutely. Like, why wouldn't you? Like, um, but we'll just keep creating faster yeah. than they can copy. That's it. You know, there will be there will be other things. I'll do more research. I'll dive in deeper. We'll start listening to the public's opinion, and we'll start making adjustments if we need yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know, the next one will have a different flavor coming out. We haven't even launched this yet, and it's probably going to be sold out. Yeah. You know, like we we only got a thousand of them. Yeah. Just to do some R and D on this, so. Um, you know, we will have a, I think we were talking yesterday, we're going to have like a pre-sale page, yeah. something like that, where you can pre-order it. Um, and I would do that. Yeah. I, I'll tell you what, I would do that ASAP if, if you want to get your hands on this, because like yeah. I said, there's only a thousand. It took us about seven, eight months to do this, give or take, yeah, right? Yeah. Probably take about two or three to, for the next run. Um, but still, you know, like. That's not our main gig, right? Yeah. It's just, it's, it's, yeah. it's getting there though. Yeah, isn't no, it? this can be big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nine thousand units in the fiscal year for for, the juice. for us, man. That's huge. So if anybody's out there listening, man, I just want to say thank you um, for your support. I feel like I'm talking a lot, but I do really feel like, uh, like giving my gratitude to these guys, yeah. man, these women and these guys that really have supported this mission and this business and our, you know, our vision. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's just, you know, we've we've always had the vision of doing stuff together. You know, this is a big part of it. Yeah. You know, and then you see where it goes, and, you know, talking on the way back from the workout. You kind of see where it goes, man. And with this, too, the reminiscence of, uh, we were talking about the other day, the ultimate orange, you know, taking that back in high school. Yeah. <laughs> we taking way too much of it. Yeah. You know, and I had ephedra and all that. I, mean, I don't even know what else was in there, man, but I know it was strong. You know, so I kind of wanted something that would, you know, the nostalgia. Yeah, that's know, it. And, and we're playing off the whole 80s theme. Yeah. You know, that's that's kind of where we're, we're going. With, we're having fun with it. Both of us in the 80s, it gives us this sense of, um, like, fun, like, yeah. enjoyment, you know. Yeah, it's great memories. Not a worry in the world, yeah. right? You know, riding freedom, your yeah. riding your bike for the first time, feeling those pedals, balancing and just being free, you know, riding in the alleyways, barefoot, yeah. you know. Yeah. Being out till, you know, the lights come on or your yeah. mom's yelling, you know. At dinner time. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's the only time we would come back. Yeah, yeah. You know, be out older. You know what's crazy is, um, you know, people micromanage their kids a lot. I, my daughter's almost 18, so I know I, I always, like, wanted to protect her, you know, because today's world is crazy, right? But then you read, like, some Jordan Peterson stuff, and he's like, well, actually, the world's a lot safer. And when I say a lot safer, like 60% safer than what it was in the 70s and 80s. We just didn't know about it. We didn't have the the information at our fingertips. Yeah. Like you had some crazy serial killers back then. Oh, yeah. Like you ju we just know about it now. No, we're just no. so aware. It's like my mom used to say, ignorance is bliss, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're out free, oh, yeah. though, man, with kidnappers everywhere, you know? Yeah, and I was talking about that with the client the other day. I said, you know, sometimes it might be nicer to not be aware of everything going on. Yeah. You know, it might be. Hey, that's what I would say. My yeah. mom, that was her shit, man. Ignorance is bliss, you know? It's yeah. Like, Fuck it, man. Would you rather know? Not even with that aspect, though. You know, would you rather know, like, everything going on right now? Be aware of it? Or, like, most people, just oblivious to it? I think it's, I think there's harmony. You know, in yeah. my perspective, I like to lean on people that know what's going on. Yeah. That can give me some information, but not, you know, get jammed with it every single day. You yeah, know, yeah. definitely not turn on the news. Yeah, no, you know, no. like most of the time I'll have, you know, when I talk to my family, they'll say, did you hear what's going on? No, yeah. no, 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 I didn't. I don't, that doesn't concern me. Yeah. You know, so I need to know on some things, but I also don't need to know on others <laughs> because for myself, it's like a distraction, you yeah. know, and I can start going off like. Oh my God. Like, just think about it, man. We're a rock spinning around a flaming ball of gas, you know, like so in a stratosphere. You know. So they say. <laughs> <laughs> well, just thinking about that at times, I can be like, damn, like, does any of this other shit even matter? You know, like, we are a speck out there. Yeah, you yeah. know, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Something I've been saying lately is uh, life is weird. 
Yeah. And when I say life is weird, it just kind of calms everything down instead of trying to go at it. Yeah, you know? so you post for that. So you said, so they say, all right, fill me in. This is the <laughs> time, man. Fuck it, man. Fill me in. I don't believe anything we've been told pretty okay. much about anything. Not a rock. No. I Not a rock spinning. No. No. Doesn't make any sense, man. No. How are we going thousands of miles an hour? Spinning thousands of miles an hour, traveling through space, and we stay here. So they say gravity. Okay, so gravity's and this sounds crazy, it's been disproven many times. So gravity is holding us here, but if I had a straw in this, my lungs are strong enough to overcome the gravity of keeping this down by pulling the liquid. It doesn't make any sense when you think about it, right? When you actually like think about it and say, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. If you have, think about like the ocean. If you have a lake or a pond, how does it stay contained? It needs a shoreline. So you're telling me the, the ocean doesn't have a shoreline that's holding it there? It has to. If you just look at smaller bodies of water, this is, this is the, way bigger. So I used to think it was crazy, man, but I think it all ties into, all this stuff ties into fitness conspiracies and all that, keeping people suppressed, thinking that we're just a random Big Bang explosion, you know, that happened and it's just all random. It's ever expanding. There's Do you think they know? Oh yeah. You think they know, and it hasn't leaked out. Oh, yet. a thousand percent. Dude. Yeah. This is this is part of what's at the root of everything that's going on. And right they now. just haven't suppression leaked. of knowledge. Nobody leaked it. People know. Yeah. You know, but but the masses, right? Because if I asked you, and do I know a hundred percent? No. Well, nobody. Does. You know, but I, I would say, you know, with the globe, right? If, first of all, if you look at the globe measurements. I don't know the exact numbers, but you know what number is prominent in all the globe measurements? 666. They put it right in your face, right? It's right there. And it's a suppression of knowledge that's willing to come out. But if with that, if you say, okay, how do you know it's a globe? Like, what would you say to me if I said, how do you know it's a globe? Uh, wait, ask me that again? If I was going to ask you. Yeah, right? Ask me, just ask me that. How do you know it's a globe? How do I know it's a globe? Because at my grandma's house, when I was a kid, she had this thing and it bent around like that and held the globe and I'd spin it. Yeah. And I'd just go like that and be like, that's where I'm going to live. You guys ever play that game? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, but really, you, that just passed on information, passed right? Passed on information. Uh, honestly, Pictures, you know, um, movies. I, is um, geology? No, that's not. That's yeah, kind of yeah, it, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, geology. Maybe, maybe in that. class, geology class, science class. Yeah. I mean, you know? it's... I think people have to question everything, man. That, that's one of them I've been talking about a little more just because I'm like, you know, I don't care if people think it's weird. It could help people. You know, if people just, the idea of Bigfoot, right? Yeah, just no, I don't think it's weird. I think it's, I, I think it's, you're getting people to question. Yeah. And, and in my line of work, I, questions are the top three of my hierarchy. You got to have clarity. You got to develop a mindset to stay geared and focused on that clarity and you got to develop questions yeah good questions equal good answers yeah so it's about efficiency and effectiveness and if you're relying on everybody else for these answers and for these questions majority of the population is you know sheep herders or you know they just they're they're in this in the way of of uh, their mediocrity that's where they live right comfortability that's the drug i don't know i don't know how else to put it but you know yes i believe I like it. I don't mind it. You know, yeah. I just don't know much about it. I'm intrigued. I mean, every time I talk to you, you tell me some <laughs> shit, man. And I'm, you know, then I try to regurgitate it back home. And I'm like, I just fucked that up, man. man. Like, <laughs> you know what? Just talk to this dude. He'll, he'll, he'll text you back eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Sooner or later. Sooner or later. Yeah, it's, it's I, I find it, yeah, interesting. Very fascinating. Yeah, tell these have. guys about the... Uh, about the predator like why'd you pick like how did the predator scene come up you know um why are we doing it for the panda punch yeah. the energy you know like you guys are like wait why are they saying energy and panda punch this is uh the panda punch is what we call it that just slides right off the tip of our tongue you know for legal reasons things like that you know what i'm saying it's and it's name, straight yeah. to the point like you this is the mecca of life Energy is the back of the life. Energy, yeah. You know, so uh, the energy perceived is the energy energy given, right? Yeah. So, uh, but we just did a commercial, and uh, I flew in. I didn't know much about it other than like 24 hours earlier, and it was a script 
like all laid out where the camera angles are, how much fog and smoke and shit like that. And so where did this come up with? Where where did the the you know, I, I know it's top five movies that you like. Yeah, from the it's, 80s. it's uh, and then and the guys kind of came up with the concept, but you know, I think it's just an iconic scene, you know, with Carl what happens Heathers in the Arnold, scene. You know, where they they're going over in the movie, right? The uh, you know the kidnapping or you know the, this crew went missing. I remember the first time I saw the movie, man. Might have been nine years old. It was it was on a you know a cable with the sliding box. I remember I was begging my parents like, let me stay up and finish it, you know, because you couldn't record stuff or anything like it that. It was on a cable with a sliding the, box. Remember the cable? Did you ever have that with cable TV where you had this, the dial? You know, I gotta show you a picture. You're gonna crack up. You must have had this. Think, yeah, to explain it. The dial, dude. So if you you had a dial that would hook up to the TV, so we had the old ones like. Where you would twist the channel. Yeah, that's like that came ears. off an antenna. Yeah, and if okay. you look at like the the uh, we had a brown box too. Yeah, and it was a slider. It's like channel two, four, six, and you could slide. No, we never, never had dude, that. This is a great thing. No, no, missed uh, that one. Slider. So anyway, we channel eleven, or whatever. It was on one night. Yeah, on a, it was school night. Yeah, you know, and I remember just you know, commercials. Like, oh, commercials. Everything. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I was. I watched that yeah, too. Man. Everything, man. Commercials yeah. and. Uh, I think I watched that one. But if you didn't catch it then, I mean, yeah, you could go to a video store. We'd go to on the weekends, but you know that that scene and, and where they're kind of laying out the game plan, and then you have Arnold and Carl Weathers. You know, if you're watching that as a kid, even as a man, it's yeah. like still you watch it. It gives you chills. Yeah. You know, and it's just that the contrast. Obviously, Arnold's just Austrian. Then you got black dude, Carl Weathers, so you have a contrast, right? They're both jacked. One's wearing a, a shirt and a tie. Arnold's just kind of, you know, wearing just his red polo. And they team up. They used to be uh, special forces together to go on this mission to go out there. And, you know, it's kind of the contrast between you and me. And how is this collaborating? What goes missing? Is the what goes missing is the, the shipment of the energy. The, the shipment panda of, the, the, of the panda punch goes missing. Right, so we got to send somebody in to, to go get it. And that's kind of the premise of the commercial. You know, if we go over, why not just use a regular pre-workout? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And the guy you picked for uh, the general, Wolverine. Wolverine, yeah. You know, what a fantastic uh, <laughs> match. You know, really gave energy and yeah, you know, he's, good character. He is, yeah. We had a really good director, his name's Quinn. Shot Collar Quinn, that's his new nickname, Shot Collar. Shot, shot Collar, collar. <laughs> man, I like that guy, man. He's, uh, he was in it, man. Oh, yeah. He was, was, he was in the was, flow state. It was fun watching those guys. It was, it was good. It was professional. That's why I kept my cool. A couple times I was like, you know, getting a little irritated, but just because it was hot and it's sweaty hot, and it's tired. six hours, yeah. eight hours, you know, they promised yeah. me coffee and shit like that, and there was nothing. No, I was just playing. <laughs> Nah, it was good. It was good to see them. Everybody in their flow state, man, you know, and shit. I had, like, maybe a 16-second clip that took us about three hours. I'm, I shit. just kept fucking it up, man. I don't know. Yeah, so the count, we have the Wolverine. It was just funny kind of giving you guys a – I've known Wolverine probably 24 years maybe. You know, he used to be this – he was a cop at the time coming to the gym. He was jacked. You know, wearing his guinea teeth, wear a wave cap in. Didn't really tell you, just keep his head down. So he was an intimidating guy. And then when I started competing, he was the only other guy I knew that ever competed. So we became buddies. He kind of, you know, started taking a liking to me. What's a wave cap? The wave cap, right, the black dudes wear. He oh, tied around. shit, you know, he was wearing a wave cap? wear a wave cap into the gym. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, it was an undercover or what? No, no, this is how he come work out. Just kind of like... come work out like that, man. What was his, uh, you know... How, how much did he weigh? He probably, he competed at like, uh, I want to say he was in the 190s. And I, I, he was really just stacked. And then around that time too, my buddy Jabba was at the gym with him. The one, just happened to be there at the same time. Wolverine was benching after a show. And his pec, you can still see he's got a big hole. He never had it repaired. Ripped his pec, you know, screaming. I remember his arm was all black, you know, and he had just had his daughter who was there the other night. She was just born. Wow. Like right before that. Wow. So he's got this arm that's all freaking mangled in his pec. And then throughout the years, you know, he would always kind of be backstage with me at the shows with my brother. Yeah. You know, just always having my back. And, yeah, uh, good dude. He's a good dude, man. And then so the concept with the commercial we were talking about, 
this you guys this guy Wolverine's character he'll be, he'll have like a cameo so we already got a Back to the Future idea in each one and then you and I can switch who's the main who's got more lines you know and you alternate like that whereas <laughs> yeah man whatever you want I, you know I, I just like those like little roll like them little ones like just throw me in there you know <laughs> I, I, I liked watching you guys in action man it was cool it was fun right? 600 times definitely memorized the lines <laughs> I was reciting it in my, on my run today you know just for the fuck of it with with uh owner with the owner yeah with it was great line. man it was right? great it was with you right yeah yeah how we doing on time for you, BK? It's 9.30. Oh, I'm good. I good. 9.45. BK's got to fly out soon. So yeah. So be going back to... You flying to O'Hare? Yeah, I'm flying. Yeah, nobody flies to New York, man. Nobody flies to New York anymore. I, one of the reasons I stopped coming... Uh, dude, I drove out here before I, remember, I flew, yeah, man. I you know? I went to Philly before New York. New York, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, here it's, here it's uh, Newark. Newark. Delaware. Newark? De- Delaware, they say Newark. Where I went, it's the same spelling. We say in, in Chicago, we say Newark. Yeah, it's almost like the Delaware, you know, because that's where I went to school down there. They say it differently. Yeah, and that's crazy too. They man. say it how it's spelled. Yeah. Yeah, they say how it's spelled. Shame on them. Yeah, Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> Delaware it's like man. your last name, Newell. Yeah, people are, somebody was asking me, how do I say it? I said, well, say whatever you want. You know, yeah. Yeah. Newell, Newell. My mom used to say, N E W E L L. That's the way we spell Newell. So she taught us to memorize it. Oh, nice. Yeah, me and my brothers. Me and my brothers, man. So what do you got planned for the rest of the summer? What do I got planned? I just... Uh, what do you got coming up in your life? Oh, man. Shit, man. We don't got enough time. <laughs> uh, what do I got going on in my life? I have, you know, my daughter's going into her senior year in high school. So we're... she going to public, private? She goes to a public school. Public. Yeah. Um, so I, I believe we'll be looking at colleges shortly we already got kind of a a list that she wants to go out and check out out there uh no she wants you know north carolina a couple in south florida you know so it'll be cool because that's where i manufacture i I spend a lot of time in south florida because the manufacturer my guys out there who are on the team for uh um the juice and the the panda punch all that stuff so um they got that um shit man i'm you know eventually i'll be getting married you know so coming up right but you know we'll see um and then we're gonna we're gonna go on vacation that'll be fun i don't know where yet probably hawaii and just just be who i am man i i I don't i can't predict the future i'm not really good at like what's coming up next but um just stay focused stay disciplined keep doing what i'm doing opportunities are gonna rise you know i keep surrounding myself with really good people um you know, that's for me, that's everything, you know, that I'm having fun doing this. Yeah. You know, I'm still yeah. having fun. I'm soon to be 44. So I got a birthday coming up. And uh, when's your birthday again? September 9th. Nice. Okay. Yep. So I've been in the industry for a while. My my gyms, you know, we have a wait list to get in there. Um, awesome. You know, so we're figuring out some things there. Um, ended up purchase, purchasing the strip mall. We have some cool things going on. I just want to stay grounded and not overwhelm myself. Because, you know, I, I'm having fun and I'm getting by and I'm staying uncomfortable. And that's what I like to do. You know, yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm not looking for uh, the, my billion. I'm not looking for a yacht. Just not in my books right now. You know, I'm just looking to uh, make sure everybody on the team knows that their hard work is going to be uh, rewarded. You know, that's what I want. I want them to all feel really good about the investment of time they've been making with me. Uh, and uh, show them what's possible. Yeah. You know, that's that's my mission, I guess. Right yeah, now. no, it's great, man. Your leadership has always been great. I thank you, know, thank yeah. you for that, man. I yeah. work hard on it. Yeah. I do. Yeah, yeah it's, it comes across. I think what you said, to having fun with it, you know, it comes across. Yeah. I think that's the only way you could, not you, but anybody in general, can sustain what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, Just man. Enjoying it, it, right? You're always, you're creative when you're, when you're enjoying what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, you're, yeah. And, and that's what differentiates uh, the, the mediocre to, you know, the successful or whatever your version mm-hmm. of success is, right? It's, yeah. you know, you, you're having fun, you get creative and you, um, differentiate yourself from others. You know, you showcase who you are and your character and, and the people that think you're too much, they're not your people. Yeah. You know, the people that connect with, that's you, yeah. you know, that's just how it, how it works in my books, you yeah, know, everybody's and, cup of tea. Yeah. And you shouldn't be, no. you know, you yeah. shouldn't be. So, 
Um, a lot of gratitude out there. My heart is full right now. I have a lot of gratitude for what's been going on. This 48 hours has been jam packed. Everybody behind the scenes are suit behind the scenes are, are super professional, including yourself. Uh, you guys are family. Yeah. You know, every time I come yeah. here, it's open. Uh, you know, just make yourself at home, and that's. Yeah. You know, I, I want to continue doing what I'm doing now. So they say a true rich man wants what he already has. Yeah. And that's the top of my, you know, my quote list. You that's know, true. and that just means that you know. You don't just stop because you know how much work it takes to get to where you are right now. And for me to continue to do what I love to do, I need to continue to work and be disciplined and uh, have fun. Have fun. You know, be creative. Yeah, man. You know. Yeah, you're going to keep on doing it, man. One of the last things you kind of just mentioned, you know, Vince was going over at the Mastermind and it's something to think about. Like, what is your definition? Or maybe you don't know exactly. I think you do, but. What is your definition of success? And how do you know that you're living your best life? Man, for me, that's easy. You know, it's, um, there's no better return on investment than yourself. You know, self-development is, is my investment to myself and that's success. If I continue to invest in myself and uh, create, you know, relationships and opportunities and a mindset, um, I can do whatever I want, whenever I want, wherever I want, you know, and it's not about that, but it's about creating freedom and I want my family to enjoy that. So, um, that's success to me is living a life of abundance and, uh, having fun and working on myself continuously, man. Yeah. That's it. Living in that uncomfortability world, you know, getting uncomfortable, you know, constant growth. Yeah. That's all I know. Yeah. Endurance, man. How to endure. Yeah. You know, that's all I know. That's, you know, that's what I was raised to do, and I'm going to continue to do that, you know? Yeah. You know? That reminds me of a good book I read. Um, the guy that started Spartan Races. His name has escaped me for some reason, but he had recommended the, uh, I think it was called Endure. The Ernest Shackleton story. Mm-hmm. It was, it was good, man, how those guys got stranded down in Antarctica yeah. in whatever, the 1920s or whatever the hell year it was. It's crazy how, how much they, per, what they went through. You yeah. know, they found their journal. Some of them survived. Absolutely. But just terrible, terrible. Off, but they shows you what the human spirit is capable of. You know, over a year, these guys were stranded, man. It's a, it's a perspective shift. Yeah. You, you, the perspective shift is always going to be... Um, you know, how can I get better? How do I survive? Yeah. Right, and, and and that's the thing is you utilize your weaknesses as your strength. It's your fuel. You know, that's that's what I have developed is knowing that every time that I'm not confident in myself, that that's a telltale sign that I'm going in the right direction. Sure. Yeah. You know, that's why it's called undisputed. It's without a doubt. It's it's all the doubts that I've grown up with as my fuel. You know, and I continue to have doubts, which means that I'm on the right track. Yeah. You know, instead of being in a paralyzed state, you know, um, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gunning. You know, I'm gunning. That's my fuel. That's why I wake up early. That's why I bang out my push-ups, my burpees. That's why, uh, I, you know, the people around me are the same way. You know, I find people like that around me that are always, if I'm slipping, they call me out. If they slip in, I call them out. You know, we in this together. Yeah. You know, I, I, we've had discussions with it where yeah. you've called me out or I've called your ass out, man. Yeah. It's just, it's just what it is, man. Yeah. Hey, I'm doing this because I'm going to need you to do this for me. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? So, yeah, a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of, fun. of fun, a lot of work. You know, it is what it is till it ain't. Yeah. You know? Yeah, for sure, man. The Juice Man. Got that big court date coming up September 3rd. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll see what happens with that. Got you got to turn that into the unbreakable, I'm telling you, man. The unbreakable, yeah. I'm so, I, I got to get you guys the uh, the footage. I have yeah, that. You got to do that. You, you know, you can make a really cool thing where, uh, you know, it can help us. So wait, and you got stronger since then. I've got stronger. My hair's got more wild. It's crazy. Yeah, there's there's something yeah, energy, there's man. something to be said about it. Like, people will be like, damn, what's going on with your hair? I'm, I'm telling you, man. You get fucking blasted twice with 50,000 volts. You know, like it does something to you. Like yeah. I, I, it's crazy, man. My hair got curlier. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just stands up. Like you know, <laughs> yeah, dude. definitely got stronger. 
but you know, I got, I have motivation, you know, I have, you know, I'm inspired to, you know, to get stronger now. Yeah. Why do you think we do all this shit for, for things like that? Yeah. For instances like that. Yeah. Right. Honestly, like you train a lot, you know, I know it's the mind. I know you need to endure, but for when shit hits the fan, oh, yeah. you, gotta be you know, are you ready to go 12 rounds? Yeah. You, that's the thing, right? Yeah, yeah. You could train all you want, but it's reps that get you through it. Yeah. You know, so I needed that. I needed to get humbled. I needed to, I need to be tested. I needed that in my life. Yeah. You know, sure. fuck it. It is what it is. Yeah. You no, know? that's, that's, <laughs> the court dates September. September 3rd. This is the final. This is the grand finale, the trial. So, you have a jury? Uh, um, no bench jury. jury. Bench so jury. that means the, the judge is Just the jury. The judge. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, uh, it'll work out. It'll work out, man. And I think what you said, too, always being prepared, that's always in my mind. Devin said to me the other day, she goes, I forget who we were talking to. She's like, I feel like you're waiting. You're waiting for shit to hit the fan. She's like, you want to see what... <laughs> I said, I'm not really... You know, I said, well, yeah, part of me, though. I'm, you know, like, let's see if everything I did is, is going to work. Yeah. <laughs> for sure you're waiting, man. It's who you are, man. You're ready to go. Wait to see what happens. Any any parting words of wisdom that comes to your mind? Oh, man. You know, hug your uh, hug your family, hug your friends, man. You know, that's tell them that you love them. Yeah. You know, give them shout outs in the morning time. You know, do that. They want to hear from you. That's that's, that's my that's my parting ways, man. Love it. You know, yeah. always, man. Good stuff. You the man. You too. Haas Media. Yes. All Thank you. Guys behind the scene. Yeah. Good job, man. Appreciate right, you guys. guys.